Hi guys, welcome to module 30, which is on driving website traffic and sales with Facebook. The objective of this module is to help you drive traffic and sales to your website or online store. The agenda for this session is to first help you understand how Facebook marketing can help you grow the visibility and sales of your web store. Things that you should have set up before you get started. What campaign objectives you would choose to drive traffic and conversions on your website. What kind of targeting audiences can you use? What are the right placements and formats that you would choose for maximum impact? How you would set your budget and your schedule? What creatives you could choose to drive the highest impact? And last, how would you measure the effectiveness of your ad campaign? And how would you optimize it to drive the best results? So let's first get started with looking at how online marketing on Facebook can help you grow the visibility and sales of your web store. Online marketing with Facebook can help you reach all the right people who you would want to reach, who would be the most relevant to buy your products. You can reach these people at the right time, in the right moment. And you can also reach them with the right message. When you reach people at the right time and the right message, your marketing is most effective and you get the best returns from your advertising efforts. How does Facebook do this? It is through the precise targeting options that it has, which helps you show your ads to the most relevant people who would be interested in purchasing your product. You can also deliver people-based marketing at every stage of the consumer journey. So for customers who are the awareness stage, you can show them relevant ads with relevant messaging to drive them to consider buying your product. For those who are the consideration stage, you can show them relevant ads with messaging again to drive them to make a purchase. And those who are already converted, who are existing customers, you can reach out to them as well to drive brand loyalty and attention. So let's look at what are the elements we need to have in place before getting started. The first one is you should have the Facebook pixel installed in all your website pages. We've already looked at the Facebook pixel in detail in a previous module. So those of you who have not done this yet, please revisit the previous module if required and get the pixel installed in, your, in all your website pages. Installing the pixel, as we've seen earlier, will help you track your conversions, will help you retarget or remarket to your website visitors, and will also help Facebook in optimizing your campaigns to get you the best results. You should also be thinking about what creative assets you have available for use. Are you going to use photos? Are you going to use videos? What creative formats are you going to use to get in front of your target audience? You should also have your target audience clearly defined. Who are they? What are the different segments? You would also look at what landing pages do you have? Where are you going to send traffic. Are you going to send them to your product pages or to your home page? You would have this clearly thought through as well. Once you've done all that, then you can log on to your Facebook. If you're an existing advertiser, then you'll see ads manager or adverts manager. You can click on it. 
if you're doing this for the first time you will see create ad you can click on that those of you who've done this before you will come to the ads manager where you will click on this create ad button and those of you who are coming for the first time you will land directly on the screen once you've landed on that screen you will now choose the campaign objectives that you would use for your campaign if your objective is to drive traffic to your website then you would choose the traffic objective and if your objective is to drive people to your website to get them to make a purchase then you would choose the conversions objective once you've chosen your campaign objective you would then move on to targeting the right audience for your products we've already covered targeting in detail in earlier module but just to give you a quick recap on facebook you can target by core audiences custom audiences or look alike audiences core audiences are a highly accurate way of reaching out to your audience you can target them based on their age gender location languages other demographics interests and their behaviors as well with custom audiences you can reach out to people who have interacted with your business in the past so let's say customers who already purchased from you in the past you can reach out to them through your ads on facebook and lookalike audiences helps you find more people who are similar to your existing customers and prospects so you can expand your audience and reach out to a lot more relevant people facebook has a lot of consumer data that it collects based on their behavior on facebook as well as through some of its offline data partners through all this data that it has it has built targeting segments that advertisers and marketers can use to get in front of their audiences so like i said you can use core audience targeting to get in front of audiences based on their interests their location their demographics and their behaviors you can use the various options that you have on each of these categories to build different audience segments for example you can target people who are interested in gaming you can target people living in singapore who are newly engaged who use android phones who shop for a lot of premium brands so you have a whole bunch of targeting options that facebook score audience targeting allows you and you've seen this in detail in earlier module as well to give you a quick recap of these targeting options you can target people based on the demographics so you can target people based on their life events for example their birthdays anniversaries have they just got married just got engaged have they just graduated you can target them based on their level of education their field of study their relationship status so all this can help you target your products to the right people you can also target people based on their interests so let's say people are interested in fitness and wellness fashion shopping beauty products lots of options here you can target people based on their behaviors so you can target people who are expats you can target them based on their purchase behavior based on their affinity for let's say high value products or mid to high value products based on their travel behavior do they travel frequently do they travel internationally on a frequent basis you can also target them by location you can target by cities states countries you can also mark a location 
on the map and target people around it if required. And then you can also target people who have liked your Facebook page, responded to your event, or even installed your app if you have one for your business. So all these diverse targeting options help you reach out to your audience with a high degree of accuracy. And as we said, when you reach the right people, at the right time with the right message, your advertising is the most effective. You can select all of these audiences at the ad set level after you've chosen your objective at the campaign level. As we said, you can choose your locations, you can select the age group, the gender, languages. You can then go into detailed targeting options where you can target people based on detailed demographics, interests, behaviors. Apart from core audiences, you can also use custom audiences to reach out to your audience. Custom audiences are people who already interacted with you in the past. We've already defined this and seen this in detail in earlier module as well. Just to give you a quick recap. So based on your data, Facebook finds your audience on the platform, which you can use to reach out to them. So let's say for example, that you have a database of your existing customers. You have their email IDs, their mobile numbers. You can upload this database to Facebook. Facebook will then match the email IDs and numbers uploaded with the login details of Facebook users and then find these people on Facebook for you. You can then target them with your ads. Why are custom audiences so important? Because it is much easier to sell new products to current customers than to look for new customers all the time. So think about it, for your online store, who is more likely to come and purchase from you again? Is it people who already bought from you in the past and experienced the process? Or is it people who don't really know about your brand or your product? Obviously it's the first, because these are people who have come to your site before, experienced it, made a purchase, parted with their money, got their products delivered. So they also trust you a lot more. Since these guys already trust the brand, are aware about it and have interacted with you in the past, it would be much easier for you to both upsell to them as well as cross sell to them. And this can help you drive revenues, increase brand loyalty and retain your existing customers as well. So you can have your existing customers keep coming back to you without you having to go around and constantly look for new ones. Apart from this, custom audiences also help you in building lookalike audiences where Facebook analyzes your custom audiences and finds people who are similar to them. How do you create these custom audiences? You can go to your audiences section of your ads manager. You can click on create audience where you have four different options that you can choose. You can choose a customer file, website traffic, app activity, or engagement on Facebook. In case of an online store, you could use a customer file where you could upload an email database or a mobile number database of your existing customers whom you can then reach out to on the Facebook platform. You can track your website traffic using the Facebook pixel and then retarget to people who visited your site or specific pages of your site. So you can even retarget to people who 
added products to your cart but did not buy, you can reach out to that audience segment as well. If you have a mobile app, then you can also track app activity. And then you could also build audiences from those who have engaged with you on Facebook. So you can build audiences of those who watched a certain percentage of your video. You can build an audience of those who've opened or submitted your lead forms. You can build an audience of those who interacted with your canvas. And you can also build an audience of those who've engaged with your Facebook page. So you can build all these custom audiences of people who interact with you on and off Facebook both. So on Facebook would be this category, which says engagement on Facebook. And off Facebook could be people who've visited your website as well as people whose email IDs and phone numbers you already have, right? Like we said, you can also use these custom audiences to build lookalike audiences where Facebook analyzes all these custom audiences that you uploaded. It looks at the audience data of a particular custom audience, finds out what are their similar interests, behaviors, demographics, and other characteristics, and then finds people who exhibit these characteristics. So it expands your audience for you to reach out to more and more relevant people who would be interested in coming to your website and making a purchase. So what are the sources you can use to create lookalike audiences? You can use different custom audience sources. One is people who've engaged with your page. Next is people who visited the purchase confirmation page. So basically people who actually made a purchase on your site. This is tracked using the Facebook pixel. You can create a lookalike audience from a source audience of people who have seen your videos for more than 10 seconds or even people who've let's say seen 25% or 50% of your video. You can also create a lookalike of all the people who interacted with your canvas ad and also people who interacted with your lead ads. So these are some custom audience sources that you can use to create lookalike audiences. How do you create lookalike audiences is something that we've already seen. To do a quick recap, in your audiences section, you can say create new lookalike audience. And you can choose your source custom audience here. You can add the country that you want to target. And then you can choose how accurate you want your audience to be, how much of a close match you want. When you choose 1%, it's the closest match to your source audience. And as you keep increasing, the closeness of the match reduces and your audience size increases. So if you're looking for conversions on your site where you want the closest match to your existing customers and prospects, you would choose to create a 1% lookalike. Great, so now that we've seen the target audience options that Facebook allows us, we've seen core targeting, custom and lookalike audience targeting as well. Let's look at what placements can we use for maximum impact. So when you choose your placements at the ad set level, you can either choose automatic placements where you can let Facebook show your ads in places where they are most likely to perform best. If you want to choose specific placements, you could click on edit placements and then you can choose your devices. Do you want to place only on mobile or only desktop devices? For example, you can then choose to place your ads 
in the news feed in the right column on instagram or on the facebook audience network so based on where you would want your ads to show you would select your placements here once you've done this you would then move to the next step at the ad set level which is setting your budgets and your schedule so you can choose to set either a daily budget or a lifetime budget depending on how much you are willing to spend on that campaign or depending on what kind of results you want to achieve from that campaign you can also set your campaign start and end date you can then choose the default optimization for ad delivery you can choose between automatic and manual bidding automatic bidding is where facebook automatically sets the best price or the best bid that would help you get the best results from your campaign manual is where you enter a bid based on how much you think the link clicks in this case or the results you are expecting are worth to you once you set your budget bid and schedule you can then move on to the next level which is the ad level where you can select your creatives before that a quick recap on a couple of things one is you can also choose to show your ads only at certain times of the day but for that you will have to choose lifetime budget as ad scheduling for certain times of the day only works on a lifetime budget and when you are choosing your optimization option stick to the default because the default optimizations are there to ensure you get the best results right so once you've done all of this you can go to the ad level where you can choose your ad creatives and formats for highest impact so what are the different formats that facebook allows you you can use a carousel ad format you can use a single image a single video or a slide show so let's look at each one of these the first one is a carousel so you can add multiple square image cards in a single ad you can add up to 10 of them at the moment you can use this to show let's say different products that you want to show to a target audience so let's say you have multiple products that you want to show to the same audience you can do that let's say you're selling shoes on your web store and you want to show different categories or different types of shoes that you have which the audience you're reaching out to can then choose from you can then put them all in a carousel and reach out to them with it you can also use it creatively to showcase features of your products you can also use them to showcase let's say usps of certain products apart from the carousel you can use a single image ad let's say you have a single product that you want to showcase to your target audience and you've got a very very strong image of that product you can just use a single image ad where the focus is completely on that product and that image if you have a video ad you could use that as well to help you increase engagement and you could also use the slide show ad format to create a sequence of looping images so let's say you've got 10 different images that you want to loop together 
you can upload those 10 images to Facebook and then Facebook will then convert it into a slideshow which will then autoplay in your target audience's news feeds. Once you've chosen your ad format and creative and run your campaign, you will then measure the results of the campaign to see how effective it has been. The most important result that you would measure when it comes to a campaign that has been run to drive purchases on your site is the number of conversions. The higher the number of conversions or the higher the conversion volume you are able to drive from a campaign, the better it is. But it doesn't stop with just the conversions. It is also the cost of achieving those conversions. So campaigns which give you the highest conversion volume at the lowest cost are those that are performing the best for you. And you would see how you can invest more money in these campaigns which are getting you better results. You will monitor the conversion volume and the cost per conversion, not only at the campaign level, but also at the ad set level to see which audiences are getting you the best conversions at the lowest cost, which placements are getting you the best conversions at the lowest cost. You will also monitor this at the ad level to see which ad formats, which ad creatives are getting you the best conversions at the lowest cost. And based on this data, you would then spend more on campaigns, audiences, placements and formats that are getting you the best results. Right? So what we've looked at in this session to summarize is why and how Facebook ads can help you grow the visibility and sales on your website. What kind of campaign objectives you will choose to drive the best results. What different targeting audience options you have which you can use to reach the right audience at the right time with the right message. How you can use core audiences for targeting accuracy. How you can use custom audiences to reach out to audiences who already interacted with you how you can use lookalike audiences to expand your audiences and reach out to a lot more people who would be interested in your product. We've also seen what different placement options we can choose. We've looked at how do we set the budget, bid and schedule. We've also seen the different creative formats that could be used. We've looked at single image, single video, slideshow, and carousel ad formats. And then we've seen what are the key metrics that we would measure to check the effectiveness of the campaign and also check the effectiveness of the various targeting options and placements that we are using. So that brings us to the end of the session. Hope you guys have had a great time learning. And thank you so much for your time and attention.